ID for that and I'm running brand new. I'm an application engineer working on Arduino and related products. Arduino is an open source hardware as well as software platform. Uh, in India, today Arduino uh, users are increasing exponentially. But the boost uh, we are getting is not that much sufficient due to some delays uh, in the international market and due to some uh, shipping and uh, custom duties. Uh, keeping that in mind, we develop our own work of comment. This is a clone version of Arduino Luminol Array and it is compatible with uh, all the platforms like Mac, uh, Linux and Windows. In, Ar uh, in uh, Tenet uh, web store, we are having two flavors of Arduino. One is Arduino Comet, that is a clone version of Arduino Luminol Array, uh, Indian main board. And Arduino Uno, an Italian made book. And uh, we are having one, one more thing called Arduino Starter Kit for the people who are interested in uh, electronics, in the sense, who are, uh, who are willing to learn from the basics. Uh, this is the Arduino Starter Kit for beginners with some basic peripherals 10 LEDs, one push button. 1 kilo ohm LDR, 10k potentiometer in a sense, variable resistor, 1 shift register, 10 330 ohm resistors, 5 volt DC motor, LM35 temperature sensor, 5 volt relay, a 7 segment di display, connecting wires, USB cable for powering as well as uploading the code, transmitting the data from the controller to the software a breadboard for connection and Arduino boards. Now we are going to demonstrate how the user can get started with this starter kit. Uh, all the documents and the schematics are well documented and you can see that thing in www.enetech.com and the tutorials about this uh, starter kit is linked with Comment. Just need to go to tutorials then hardware interface and first example is interfacing the comment with an LED. Video demonstration is that schematic is that and the coding of this thing is also there. It is well documented and you can refer this one. Now we are going to demonstrate each and every peripherals uh, with the help of one uh, one of application engineer in order. Hi, let us start with some of the basic interfaces making use of Arduino Starter Kit. Let us start with them making, let us start with them clicking an LED. The required components are an LED and the resistors and connecting wires. Let us see how the connection goes. This is an LED. Usually the positive will be the longer terminal and the shorter will be the negative terminal. In Arduino, 40 milliamps of current is available in each and every digital I/O pins, but the LED requires 20 milliamps of current. So to limit the current, we are making use of one resistor, and that resistor is connected in series with the positive terminal of the LED. And this pin goes to the one of the digital I/Os, and this pin goes to the ground. Let us see how to connect with an practical.
Here are the adding of stitch. Here are the program. Here are making use of pin number three and pin number seven. And inside the loop, I'm making use the, the function digital right to change the status of the LED. Once it goes, pin number three goes high, then it goes low again. Same thing with respect to the seventh pin. When you are just connecting the Arduino board with your software, we need to go to tools, select the board which board you are using. We are using Arduino Dominion away, it's a cloned version. And which serial board? Communication port 32. We need to select that one and first we need to compile it. Whether our syntax syntaxes are correct or wrong, then we need to upload. Now the program is uploaded, now you can see the LED starts blinking. Now I change the pin number to 4 and 7 and I am going to reduce the delay to 100. Before it was 1 second, now it is 100 millisecond. Here 1000 refers to the 1 second delay, 100 refers to the 1 You can see the LED stars blinking at fast pass. This is how an LED can be connected. Let's move on to the next interface. Let us start with an switch after an LED. Let us move on to the next interface, a push button, this is a push button and this is how we can connect a push button, actually it has 4 legs internally, these two legs are short circuited and through this leg we are connecting and registers and that pin should be grounded and here we are giving 5 volt supply and this pin goes to digital input let us see how it can be connected with input here I have connected an LED and a switch and here I am controlling an LED through switch right and this is how the code goes this is the code, we are reading the input from a particular pin and we are going to uh, make an LED high or low depending upon the input what we are getting from the button. This is the code. Now I am just going to upload the code. Yes. Code is now uploaded. Now you can see this demo. When I press the switch, the LED goes on. When I leave the switch, the LED goes off. This is how the switch demo works. Let's move on to now so far we have come across how to read with digital read and digital write function. Let us go for analog things. Let us, let us move on to the next interface, a potentiometer or a variable registers, how to interface with comment. 